today I'm going to make you a better wood fisherman. We're going to, I'm going to give you 10 tips to make it for you to catch more fish while fishing in the woods. So, let's get going. Tip one is jig for the heart. When you're fishing timber that's laying down, look for any place where a main branch comes off of the uh, main trunk of the tree. That is considered a heart. Shoot for that heart because that's a great place to find big bass. Tip two, fish a jig. I don't need just picture that wood. Look at the under, picture that underwater brush. Picture at shallow lay downs. When the water is clear, use natural colors such as pumpkin. When it's dirty or stained, go with black or blue. And bow control when you're fishing is a must. You must have good bow control. And the best thing you can do is you have to put your nose in current or in the wind. Both of those will help you control that bow a lot better. And you will catch more fish. Tip number three. You need to learn how to approach your your stumps. In the pre-spawn, know that the fish are going to be in deeper water as you to the field of stumps that you want to fish. When they move up to spawn, they're going to be on the side of the stump that's protected from the wind. This gives the fish the best chance to build a nest and be successful in raising this young. Tip three is when they move off the uh, Feds into the post spawn, go back to that adjunct water that you were fishing before because that's going to be where the fish move to. And then and when the water warms up and we move into summer, start looking at the back of pockets, coves, and creeks at those stumps because that's where the fish are going to be. And then in the winter, find isolated stumps because that's was where bass in the Hang out in when the water gets cold. Tip four. Bump the wood. I don't care what you're pitching and what you're using. Make sure you're hitting that wood. You want deflection because deflection is where the fish are going to bite. Do your best to hit the wood on every single cast. You want to be successful? Don't be scared to get your lure in the woods. Step five. You need to give a flip when you're fishing. Flipping to a copy of wood apart is a lot better than making casts. Start at the heart of a tree, work your way out to the roots. Flipping a wee single inch you can. Tip number six, sink horizontal. The timbers that are laying down is a lot better than timbers standing up. Because the reason for this is this gives the bass better cover and they tend to like to be covered where they can cut ambush the prey a lot easier. The best thing to do is get a spinnerbait and cast alongside it and work it along the side of the uh, bait of the tree or whatever the cover you are and that will help you catch more fish. Tip number seven. When you're approaching a Brush pile, you need a game plan. In the summer, moving baits work best. In the colder months, vertical fishing. You just boom into your drop shots. <coughs> Tip number eight. Not all stumps are created equal. Stumps near drop offs are going to be better than stumps in two inches of water. Stumps on points tend to have the biggest bass and the less stumps, the more concentrated your fish are going to be on, the stu on your stump. So take that into consideration when you're picking your stump. Tip 9. You need to understand the brush. When the, when the water comes up and floods the brush, the bass move in and take residence. <coughs> bushes in 2-3 to three feet of water are better than bushes in inches of water. So keep that in mind when you're picking it apart. And I like to flip and pitch that stuff, boys and ladies and gentlemen. And when I'm pitching and playing it, I know the brighter the sun is, the better the fishing is. And now the last tip, tip number 10. You need to be able to start reading all the radio, your family timbers. 
if you're three standing timber, it's just like reading a book and it gives you a road map. Don't run and gun it. Slow down and fish it. Make a plan and stick to it. Find ditches, creeks, and channels running through that bed and you will catch more fish. This has been the host of Co Outdoors, Derek Cole, giving you 10 tips of fish and wood. If you follow these 10 tips, you will catch more fish. Until next time, I am your host of Co Outdoors, Derek Cole. Later! Remember to subscribe, like, and share my videos.